So I want to say something real quick about the fuse box here. Um, if you open it up, actually in the lid here, it tells you what each fuse does. And it appears that it, the top one here correlates to the one on the most, most right. So the one on the very far right is a 10 amp tail meter. Next one is a 10 amp turn, stop, and horn. The next one is a 20 amp fan. Then there's a, a space, so there shouldn't be a fuse in that spot. And then there's a 10 amp start ignition and a 10 amp headlight. Okay, so this fuse down here is actually an, an extra one. It's not used for anything, but if this fuse here blows, you can put that one in. There should be a 10 amp extra, but it looks like someone already changed it out. So I should get a 10 amp to put in there. So this one here, I could not figure out what it was. The climber manual does not, doesn't mention it, at least that I could find, and it's, and it's not mentioned on here. I just had a friend come over and he pointed out, if you look at the wiring diagram, so I have a VT1100C2, the Shadow Saver. If you look down here, it shows the fuses. So headlight 10 amp, correlates to that one there, the headlight. So the next one should be ignition start, which it is. And then we've got the, let me see, meter tail, brake horn, and the, the fan. Oh, then that's a 20 amp. And then right here, it says clutch diode, which if you actually pull it in, it had, if you notice there's three wires instead of, instead of just two going into it. If you pull it out from right here, it has three prongs. So pretty positive this is the clutch diode. Um, I don't know how to check if it's good since it's not see-through, you can't see. So you'd probably have to hook a multimeter up to the two ends and see if uh, you can get any, any flow across it. So anyways, hope this helps.